Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Julia Thatcher. And I'm Jeff Herndon. A new warning system coming to an intersection west of Wichita after three deaths and 50 crashes over the last decade. Sedgwick County Commissioners approved added safety features with a price tag of $125,000. Samantha Boring is live at the intersection with what neighbors and commissioners are saying. Julia Jeff, this newly approved system will put a red flashing light at 167th Street and a yellow flashing light for 21st Street, Street drivers when traffic is approaching. Commissioner Jim Howell says he's concerned this could bring more issues than solutions. West of Wichita is 21st Street North and 167th Street West. A rural but dangerous intersection. I always thought it need, needed some safety feature of some kind. Leroy Wolf lives nearby and has for over 30 years. He says a lot of the time people do not pay attention when driving through. <laughs> County Commissioner David Dennis says his district is asking him to take action. We have to do something because one death is absolutely too many. Commissioner Jim Howell believes there are better solutions such as a four way stop or rumble strips. The county says the intersection does not me guidelines for a four way stop and rumble strips could be loud for neighbors. Commissioner Howell says timing is also a problem. If someone pulls up and they sit there for a minute, the lights stop flashing. If they, if they pull up there and they go through the intersection quickly, the lights are flashing, there's no one there. It's a pilot program for the county. If it doesn't work, Commissioner Dennis says the equipment could be used elsewhere. If it does work, the county could implement these safety features at other dangerous intersections. Unfortunately, we're, we're jumping to a uh, to an idea that may or may not work, and I sure hope that nobody gets hurt in the process. Neighbors say they want any change to make drivers more alert as they pass through this deadly intersection. The new safety features will be added to this intersection this winter. As for a potential roundabout, they say it could take years to get there, but that commissioners will be having a proposed budget proposal request on that this August. Here for you, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.